All right, guys, today we're going to be attempting to do the subframe bushings on the uh, Chrysler Concord. This one's a 2004. I think they're all pretty much the same. So as you can see, I already got the jack stand, and it's a two jack stands and a jack ready to go. I'm going to lift the vehicle up and uh, see if we can even attempt this. This is the bushing right here that we're going to be replacing or attempt to replace at this point all right there's two of these in the front and then there's two in the back first thing i'm going to do is jack up the jack to uh support the subframe there we go god that's tight Let's see if we can get the impact on that bad boy Uh, as I take this bolt out, I can actually see that this frame is moving with it. And I do have the jack stand supporting it. Alright, so the jack right now is actually holding this frame. And the bolt is just going to come out. I think it's dropped it enough to where I can just slip these bushings in. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I don't know what's in, what this entails. And there you go. Here's the old bushing. That's what I'm replacing. I'm trying to get that one off at the top. Seems like it's stuck. I might have to drop the subframe a little bit. Let me see if I can drop the frame down a little bit without distorting everything. I don't want to go too far with this because everything's connected. I don't want to ruin brake lines or anything. There we go. She's out. There we go. There's the old one. These ain't too bad. They're still connected, but you can. I don't know if you can see this. They're all coming apart. They're separating. I don't know if you can see that. All right. Now, the new kit. <clears throat> Okay, this is a new kit. These are the new ones. Same design, except that, you know, they're brand new. They got the built-in washers. Comes with two bolts. Okay. This kit is uh, for all four. One kit does all four, so it's different size bolts on different uh, uh, the areas. This one takes, it's going to match it up, the long bolt. So I'm putting the new long bolt in. Then we're going to talk this to 120 foot-pounds. I'm personally just going to zap it with the gun. I was going to line it all up. Actually, I got to get my uh, anti-seize. Put some anti-seize on my bolts. If you watch my videos, you know I love this stuff. This one, I'm going to load it right up. I don't want these bolts to seize up in the nuts because if that nut starts spinning up in there, you're screwed. You can't get to it. You'd have to blow a hole in the frame or something to get to that stupid nut. So now we're just going to line it. Line everything up if I can. There we go. Start this as usual by hand. There you go. Now I'm going to zap it with the gun and it's going to bring the whole frame back up in place. I'm not even going to pick it up with a jack. This one was pretty easy in the front. So uh, that's what it looks like. Alright, new bushing, new bolt. And the new bushing is on top. It's up in here. Let's go attempt the rear. Frame bushing right there. This is the bushing. We're going to attempt to change that out. All right, I'm going to try to break this loose with the breaker bar before I hit it with the impact. <clears throat> Here we go. Sometimes if they don't break, it's you can try to tighten it and then loosen it. it might break the rust off. 
All right, now she's loose. I'll zap it with the gun. Now I'm glad I kept some of my tools, I'll tell you. This would have been 10 times worse if I had to do everything by hand. I like to take my time when I do this, give it a couple of zaps, go slow. Well, that top bushing is completely gone. I got no bushing with that well, so I have a little bit moisture in there from not having a bushing. No bushing here and no bushing up there. It's just totally gone. Oh, this one looks like the short bolt. Wait, no bushing. Just missing. Everything's gone. Nothing. Oh. Nothing there. Check the top. Do I even have the freaking metal pin? There it is, I got it off. Wow. This frame has to come down a little bit more. Let me drop the jack, see if it makes a difference. That might be just enough for me to get the bushing in there. All right, same kit. That's the top bushing. Let me see if I can get it in there. Nope, probably not. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have the room. The problem is, is the pin up here. This go actually sticks out the top. <sighs> So, you know, I gotta drop this down. Let me see if I can get it down some more. And it jacks off of it, it's not even on it. I'm gonna try to pry this down with a pry bar. See if I can get enough clearance to get in there. And there we go, that might just do it. Let's see, what do I got now? Ah, look at that, works great with the pry bar and the jack. So you gotta be a little genius, you know what I'm saying? Using the jack to push the pry bar up to push the subframe down. Not a bad idea. That old bolt. This one is the smaller bolt on this kit on the back. So I'm using a small bolt on the back. All right, now I'm gonna put this kit. Now the side with the washers or the metal plates and it bolt them. They're the ones that go facing out away from the sub frame. Okay, so this one would go facing down. The other one goes facing up towards the car. Put the bolt in. Line everything up. Get it started. Yeah, it's cross threaded. Feels cross threaded. Huh. Feels cross threaded. Oh, if I want to attempt to keep pushing. Something ain't right. Let me try this by hand. All right, feels all right now. It's probably all full of rust. Just like the front, we're just gonna tighten her up. Then I'll, I'll tighten it down. I'll finish tightening it down with the top, uh, half inch uh, breaker bar. gonna snug her up man or more than snug her up I'm just gonna tighten the shit out of it let's put it that way <sighs> I mean I should be talking them but I'm not that's it she's in no more banging noise when she shifts it's gonna be nice going down the road all right that was easier than I thought all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so now you guys know how to do your uh, subframes. You can do them on the ground on these Chrysler Concords. It's not actually that hard. 
All right, guys, just got done with the whole car, right and left side. Just want to show you how bad they were because I don't think you can see too well underneath the car. I hope you got the gist of it on how I did the uh, left side. And it's the same thing for the right side. Actually, the right side was a little bit easier. Um, I don't know why, but it was. So uh, let me show you what I, uh, the old ones. Let me show you what I just replaced. These are the new ones. You can see they're brand new. Okay, so these are the old ones I replaced. These, This one was in better shape compared to some of these others, but you can see how bad they were, you know? See that? Look at this one. There was one that was just completely missing, and it started damaging the inner uh, uh, sleeve on the uh, subframe itself where the bushing is, and that's this here. See how bad that is? That's just from sitting around, you know? It just rusted from sitting around. The car's old. It's 2004. It's got 57,000 miles on it, but from sitting around, this is what you get. The rubbers just dries up, cracks, turns hard, and, um, and uh, you know, just falls apart. So, there you go. So the car's done, thank God, just in time, because it's starting to rain out here. It's drizzling right now. Actually, it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I give this uh, probably a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, as far as difficulty goes. So, you guys, if you got a Concord, give it a shot. It's not that bad. If you can take a bolt out, you can do these. All right, thanks. Please leave some likes, comments, and uh, share the videos, please. I'd appreciate the help of spreading the word on the channel. Uh, and I want to say thank you to all of the subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. All right, goodbye, everybody. Have a good day.